If you are a man or woman interested in travel, you may have heard of the Passport Bros, also known as men who travel the world often with plans to meet women abroad. Unsurprisingly, they have received their fair share of hits. Oh, you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick, uh, go for it. Passport Bros, I'm about sick of y'all, and it ain't for what you think. Why I always gotta be the villain? Why I got to always be the villain? Why I, I got to be the one that everybody mad at for speaking the truth? My bad. I'm not sorry. I'm lying. I'm lying. Here's the truth. Dude, I want you to find the type of woman that you want. Where's your self-esteem at, bro? Like if you really had some self-esteem and something really going on for yourself, you'd make better choices than women, bro. It's women everywhere. In the United States, you literally don't have to hop a boat or a pigeon. It's really women inside of the United States who are dumb enough to date you. Beautiful too, out here submitting. What a problem, bro, you are the problem. You think if you get on a flight or a boat and you go over to another country, you gonna stop being the problem? But regardless of what you may think, there is no denying their influence is growing. The hashtag Passport Bros now has over 400 million views across all social media platforms. Password Bros believe that Western women have been influenced by societal pressures to behave in a certain way and that by seeking foreign women they can find a more authentic and harmonious relationship. Why you think they so mad at the Passport Bros? Dudes that they didn't want anyway. You know why they're mad? Because they are terrified that those dudes is going to fly to another country. They're going to see how those women act. They're going to see how those women treat the men. They're going to experience how those women treat them. And then they're going to come back and tell us. And then we're going to look at them and say, wait a minute. We don't have to put up with this. They also understand that the West, particularly the United States, is a sinking ship both financially and culturally and so choose to live in countries where their money goes a long way and they are treated with more respect, particularly by women. You pay attention to the passport rolls, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like oh. women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that you miss need them. Hold up what you say about the Filipinas only understanding very little English. Listen to this video, girl. I'm gonna give you a rundown, okay? Filipinas with very little education. Oh, honey, please, please, please tell me that you can only speak about us if you can be better than us. And clearly, you are so insecure because we take care of your man better than you. Stop throwing shades to Filipinas because we are stealing your boyfriend. Now, one controversial statement is that the Passport Bros also understand that their lives will be much better in places like Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia because the population, especially the women, are far less damaged. Now, I mean, although biased men from Western countries, primarily the United States, express their frustration with the unfavorable dating scene in their own country and so travel in hopes of improving their options and finding a more, well, quote-unquote, traditional woman. Financial leverage also plays a role because on social media, password bros often cite the fact that they can live a much better lifestyle in Asia or Latin America for a fraction of the cost of the United States. So in short, we can think of a password bro as a man who travels around the world for the primary purpose of improving his romantic options while taking advantage of a lower cost of living. The ongoing debate about who coined the term password bros is a little bizarre, but the idea was brought into the mainstream by an African-American documentary filmmaker by the name are Grease. We found out that in 2011, Grease released a film called Frustrated, which explored a growing trend of Black American or African American men leaving the United States to pursue women in foreign countries, Latin American countries like Brazil, the Dominican Republic, Colombia, Thailand, and the Philippines. Women are noticing that their men are crossing the borders to find happiness, romance, or even just somebody to have a good time, hang out with. I come to Brazil, I sit down at the table, I order food, Young lady places a drink in front of me, opens my straw, puts it in my glass, and I'm chilling. Doesn't make her less of a woman, doesn't make me more of a man. It's just that we have different roles in life, and she knows hers, and I know mine. Several years ago, I read an article uh, from Essence Magazine in regards to African-American men going to Brazil. Every black man should come down one time before you be put in this earth to see how this culture treats you. It's, it's, it's heaven. 
you don't want to come down to real, I said, because if you do, you're going to come back thinking, how can I get rid of her? You know, and I just, <laughs> so that's, I, I can't put it to you. I said, if you marry and you, you, you love your wife and you're satisfied, I said, don't come here. Now, one other thing is that it's no coincidence that the Passover Bros movement blew up in 2019, right? around the time COVID hit. Now, people were bored at home. They had more time to consume content. Videos of the Password Bros were all over the internet. Right after the pandemic, many folks set off abroad to experience what the Password Bros were talking about. Austin Abate, and I hope I pronounced the name correctly, who happens to be an unofficial spokesperson for the group has over 500,000 followers across all social media platforms, promoting men to leave the United States for a better life in these foreign countries. Now, with videos like Reasons Why You Should Move to Colombia, $10 date in the Philippines, you can probably guess the nature of criticisms that has, you know, been launched at this group of men. Now, they have been accused of sex tourism, disrespecting other cultures. It's also claimed that these men go abroad for better dating options simply because they are unable to compete with men in their home countries. And then there is the typical insult held at an African-American who chooses to date abroad that she's only with you for your money and your green card. Although password bros would claim these criticisms are unwarranted, recent actions have certainly not won them any favors because several months ago, a YouTuber named Austin Holman uploaded a video stating that Brazilian women were easy. Now, Austin published an interview with two women on a beach in Salvador without their consent. Okay, so this, I'm saying if you meet a guy today, let me look. Let's say you met me, um, like you just did, mm -hmm. and uh, how soon would you kiss me, and how soon would you go back home with me? I don't know. If, the, if, if I had time. If, if, if you like him a lot, and he likes you a lot, do you feel a need to wait a day or two? Or do no, you, no. So you would go the same day? Yes. That's all I need to know. Get your passport. And when the Brazilian press got hold of the story, he was run out of the country and the issue went as far as to be investigated for sex tourism. Austin Holman is apologizing for comments that he made about Brazilian women. Take a listen. What I meant by when I said <coughs> that Brazilian women are easy, and I shouldn't use the word easy, I know that now. I know that now, I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is, for a man that's well-mannered, well-dressed, that has put in the effort to, to raise himself he would have an easier time in Brazil as opposed to where I was from. That wasn't always the case. Both American and women around the world are speaking out against the passport bros, arguing these guys are using their status to take advantage of women and even calling it a form of sex tourism and sex trafficking. Let's talk about it. Now, in another incident, David Bond, a North American dating coach, was also accused of sexual exploitation of, you know, Brazilian women for their social club called Millionaire Social Circle in which they would invite women to parties and charge them entrance fees to attend. So like for me, I, I recently made the news in Brazil. In Brazil, they're like, they're looking at our stuff and they're like, okay, how can we make people mad? Hmm. Racism, perfect. Racism, sex trafficking, foreigners coming to Brazil and they just put, put it all together and then they, boom. Let's say for example, one of the articles about me is on coconuts, coconuts, Indonesia, and it's titled David Bond accused of sexually exploiting women in Indonesia. Okay, that's the title. So did you Indonesian find Indonesian officials on lookout for David Bond, quote, pickup artist accused of sexually exploiting women throughout Asia. And keep in mind, like, I've traveled the world. I've had zero problems in any country. I have lots of friends that have traveled the world. Zero problems in any country. He's had problems in like eight countries. Okay, He notoriously has governments after him, authorities after him, people wanting to put him in jail, people wanting him killed, etc. Due to the over-exaggerated hype to travel abroad strictly to meet foreign women, no one even pretends to be interested in the local culture, the customs, or the language. It is direct, unapologetic movement that has led many men to join online dating applications just to meet these women. Now, there have been reports of each United States citizens losing their lives in what would appear to be dragging overdose and armed robbery cases and the United States Embassy warns all tourists in quote passport bros meeting women on dating applications to stop using the apps in Colombia. Tonight an urgent warning for Americans visiting Colombia 
after a string of deaths in tourist hotspots. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota urging travelers not to use dating apps in the country, writing in a security alert that criminals are using the sites to lure victims, with many U.S. citizens drugged, robbed, and even killed by their Colombian dates. Embassy officials confirming the deaths of at least eight Americans traveling in Medellin, possibly linked to the apps. We see that because many passport bros are less interested in dating American women due to theories like the rise of feminism, the unfavorable divorce laws, the career obsession, and unrealistic standards. That's why it's not surprising that many women in the United States do not sympathize with the news of passport bros losing their lives in these countries. I know there's a collective, we told you so, coming out of the black women community. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Y'all are going over there looking for submissive wives and they are setting you up with their non-submissive uh, men. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, maybe stay your asses home. Just saying. Personally, I think the escapades of the password bros attracts too much negative attention. So if you're a man who is interested in traveling abroad, my advice would be to avoid this movement. Now, there are a lot of like-minded travel communities all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, which are non-passport bro communities to choose from. Though I'm not against, you know, men traveling abroad and dating foreign women, I don't see the benefit of shouting it from the rooftops either. Generally, I think bad quality content that isn't particularly helpful when the message is foreign women are better because they seem to like me better is what the propaganda is entirely about. Men have been meeting women while traveling since time immemorial and it's not a trend likely to fade anytime soon. However, let me know what you think about this movement entirely. Do you side or disagree with the ethics of the passport bros? Let me know in the comments. My name is Your Heritage. I'm a traveler and explorer currently exploring my country, Ghana. Check out the social app, an app that focuses on monetization and discovery of content created from Africa. Their mission is to make content creation profitable for all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.